which meant the people had the actual testing to back up what their problems were, and Go ahead, uh, they got the proper medication, and there were no unreal expectations about what they could and could not do. We had a speech language pathologist on our staff, and she worked with the school, and they put their, their lessons together so they reinforced one another. We had the work activity program. Nobody had to work if they didn't want to, but they got paid, and that's the greatest esteem builder there is to work and have your own money. And so we always bought their clothes and they paid for their haircuts and all that kind of stuff. And all that happened was they took their own money and did it, and it was in our budget, and they spent it that way. They voted, and I, there's a lot of stories about that one too, but I won't tell you today. Um, we were in parades in any town that had a parade available. We won a lot of prizes doing that. We had inter-county dances with other county facilities because those people actually um, knew people in other facilities because they'd been in the institutions with them. They went to Camp Sunnyside. Um, they just, they got to do a lot of things and they had a really good quality of life. And there were a lot of people that helped us with that too. We had uh, Adult Assessment, Assessment Center that the Sisters of Mercy uh, had and we worked with them. And uh, I worked with um, Mercy Hospital with their student nurses. Uh, we usually had about six young nurses out here when they were doing their psych rotation. And I usually had the kids all for one whole day because they wanted to know what happened to people with mental illness. What happened to them? How did they get to the hospital before they went into treatment? Um, I liked my job. I'll tell, say that again. I want to thank you for letting me have the opportunity to ramble on this afternoon. Um, I'm enthusiastic about the facility still. The jackets, we did that one year just for fun. The residents loved them, they bought their own. Everybody likes to belong to something and they really felt proud to live here. So, and I hope that all of you who are Dallas County residents who are, are here with us today are proud of what was achieved here too. And I really am pleased with what they've done with the building. I'm sad that the residents still don't have this home. When Iowa ranks dead last in providing mental health center services, this is not a good thing for us folks. We need to do something about that. And we see a lot of bad things happening because of that too. But thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the walking around the building and seeing what goes on.